Hello friends, welcome back to the demonstration of the project which I discussed in the last session. The title of the project is Novel Step Up Converter Based Solar Power Optimization for DC Distribution System. I have explained the basics in the last session and uh, let me continue the particular session. Have you watched the previous video? If not, kindly watch that particular video. Video link is available in both description box and the i button. So kindly watch first and later uh, we can discuss. I have explained the importance of the project, why optimization is required, what are the major issues, what are the major problem definitions and uh, what is optimization, In what are the types of optimization which I carried out and what is the major content which I discussed, what are the papers I have referred, what is the main objective of the project. The main objective of the project is to boost the voltage, that means uh, 20 to 40 volt to 400 volt, okay, LB to uh, low voltage DC to high voltage DC and uh, addition of incremental conductance algorithm and i have explained the importance of the project okay where is the which part i am going to design that also i have explained then what is the major components of the power converter this is actually you can able to see it's a high step up dc to dc converter pv panel is the source and we can see the dc link capacitance and this will be the dc bus Okay, you will be boosting up the voltage from lower level to higher level by using both the switched capacitors C2 and C3 and N1 and N2. By using the coupled inductors and switched capacitors, you will be able to boosting up the voltage for the requirement. These are the things which I discussed in the last session. And uh, regarding the design, the PV panel which I have chosen, uh, that is 250 watts the available input voltage from the pv panel that i have selected as 35.82 volt after conducting the pv panel testing the output voltage need to be boosted up to 400 volt the switching frequency i have selected as 50 kilohertz i have to go ahead with the high switching frequency else if the switching frequency is very less i need to increase the board size that is not convenient for me first in the form of what i did is i have computed the voltage gain by using the formula see voltage gain you can see the first formula voltage gain is equal to v naught divided by uh, v in c formula is available here you can able to read out very very carefully see uh, v naught by v in is equal to n d plus n plus 1 divided by 1 minus t that is equal to 13.33 so that is the voltage gain which i computed by using the particular formula later what i did is i need to choose the turns ratio in order to select the turns ratio i have used the same equation then uh, substitute the different turn ra turns ratio such as n is equal to 2 then n is equal to 4 n is equal to 6 when n is equal to 2 i have got the duty cycle is equal to 63.66 percentage i did based on this equation only you can able to verify it and n when n is equal to 4 i have got the duty cycle is equal to 40.65 percentage suppose if n is equal to 6 32.74 percentage will be the duty cycle so in the first and last case n is equal to 2 it leads high conduction loss duty cycle is high it leads high conduction loss and efficiency comes down when n is equal to 6 uh, we will be getting low value of lm but there is a high peak over the mosfet therefore the on state voltage drop will be increased that's another issue to uh, to mitigate this issue we are going to choose the optimum selection so we'll be choosing the turns ratio that is equal to 4 so n is equal to 4 that is a optimized selection and the duty cycle corresponding to this terms ratio will be 40.656 percentage afterwards i have computed the magnetization time constant by using the formula and i obtained the value as 2.16 into 10 to the power minus 3 and also the value of magnetization inductance i have computed using the particular formula which i have received from the base paper i would like to share that base paper later on the value of magnetization inductance will be 27.6 microhenry and the next is actually the design of capacitors as far as the design of capacitor concerned, first I computed the value of switched capacitors. This is the equation for switched capacitor, computation of switched capacitor. And this delta Vc will, will be the ripple voltage. I have chosen as 2.21 percentage. The value of switched capacitors is 4.425 microfarad. And the input capacitor value have been computed by using the equation. And I have got the value as 16.986 microfarad. I have obtained the output capacitance value as 0 0.43 uh, microfarad. These are the design of capacitance. Let me show you what I did for testing of 250 watts PV panel and how did I come to know about the op operating voltage. 
I have conducted the P uh, polycrystalline uh, PV panel which is having the rating of 250 watts and uh, the open circuit voltage and short circuit uh, current uh, have been measured at the beginning. Later I plotted with the help of Excel software I have plotted the PV curve by taking different readings. Okay, I have varied the rheostat and load. Load I have chosen as a rheostat and I have varied the rheostat and find out different points. So here you can able to see the maximum operating point. Look at this. And uh, these three diagram it clearly mentioned that the approximate value of operating point, operating power point. And uh, see, you can able to see uh, the PV curve for uh, different timings. Okay. So then, afterwards I have computed the equivalent circuit parameters of the PV panel. So these are the equivalent circuit parameters of PV panel for different solar irradiation. So calculation has been explained clearly. You can make this kind of tables. Next is actually the MPP optimization. Here I have used ICA algorithm, incremental conductance algorithm you will be getting the maximum power point when incremental conductance is equal to instantaneous negative of the instantaneous conductance that means the slope at the MPP that is equal to zero that's a working principle of uh, incremental conductance algorithm what I did is by using the MATLAB simulating software so I have developed the particular model you can see the different segments of the IC algorithm which I developed in MATLAB simulating software first of all sensing of voltage and current afterwards checking voltage current change in voltage and change in current afterwards checking the current checking the conditions such as change in voltage is equal to zero and the change in current is equal to zero or change in current greater than or less than zero that is these are the conditions so after checking the instantaneous conductance and the incremental conductance value suppose if the instantaneous conductance equal to or incremental conductance equal to negative of instantaneous conductance we are able to get the duty cycle corresponding to maximum power so that is a selection of duty cycle of the power switch so this is actually called uh, incremental conductance algorithm and uh, i have observed the due the problem associated with the ic algorithm the problem of multiple local maxima so that can be mitigated by using the technique that is called a deucive technique that i proposed in this project that you can able to implement in future so this is a basic algorithm which i made for mitigating the problem of multiple local maxima of ICA algorithm and I carried out the open loop uh, open loop simulation with the help of MATLAB simulating uh, software you can see the equal circuit of PV panel and uh, these are the converter part this is, this is actually the MPP tip. this part is MPPT part so I made in a subsystem ok MPPT MPPT ICA MPPT I have done then these are the co converter circuit, converter part. Here you can see the uh, coupled inductors. These are the switched capacitors. And these are the measurement blocks. See, different measurement blocks I have chosen. Voltage measurement. Uh, then these are the scope. Where like the CRO, we are, we are having another option. You can refer the MATLAB video which I prepared in the previous session. You can, it's available in the description box. You can go through that. And uh, resistive load I have used. Okay. Then I have obtained the voltage, the input to voltage almost 35.8 volt, the input current is equal to 6.04 amps and the input power, average input power is equal to 215 watts. These are the things I obtained. Uh, this is your uh, output, output waveforms. The volt, output to voltage 365 volt and output current of 0.56 amps and the output power of 260 watts. Afterwards I computed the efficiency. Okay, the open loop efficiency is around uh, a 95.70 percentage later i did the closed loop simulation by connecting a pid block from matlab i have taken a pid block directly and define the constant also kp k i n k d and uh, here also i obtained the result like input to voltage 31.8 and out input current is equal to 6.6 .6. then uh, output power is equal to 193 watts so likewise i computed the output to voltage I will be getting 400 volt and uh, output current is equal to 0.47 then output power is equal to 185 watts and the converter efficiency is equal to 95.85 percentage. Here I simulated uh, the entire uh, SPO system. 